Welcome back, guys, to the Weeps Closet. My name is Michael. <laughs> Should we just give the lore on this room real quick? Yeah, because nobody that watches really knows about uh, the room. The room. Yeah, the, the room, the, the actual closet. Um, yeah, we, we had electrical problems at one point, and uh, whenever we decided to plug in our AC, we, uh, the AC got fried. And since this room is actually separated from the rest of the house, it doesn't have a central AC, which is killing us. And that's why we got a lot of fans. And that's why we've been melting for the last month or two, I think it is. Well, the thing is, I think we would be melting anyway, even if that thing was still working, because that AC unit was so loud that we could never have it on while we were recording. Yeah. And the, the reason that it was fine when we first started recording is because it, we started during sure. the springtime. Yeah. And so it was the weather was nice yeah. outside and now that it's like 100 it's kind of like 80 90 in here Terrible. yeah but uh we're, we're working on it we're trying no. it's happening but nonetheless welcome back guys to the week's closet my name is neko i'm jake and we're watching today my hero academia season 5 episode 12 i uh, saw something like that I don't know. oh it's way more than 12 it's 68 <laughs> Uh, yeah, a little, a little bit less than that. I think we're on like 17, 18, something like that. The Unforgiven. It's, it's the one past the one that you last saw. <laughs> yes. That's all that really matters. <laughs> <laughs> but with that said, last episode, it was a little bit of the, the trio practicing with mm. uh, Endeavor. But most of it was mainly, I mean, like half of it was the Todoroki family feud all over again. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, the these guys meet the family. Uh, it was a pretty decent interaction, most of it. Like, and yeah. you, you didn't have to, uh, I guess, Shoto uh, being a complete utter dick. It was just mainly uh, the other guy that I forgot. Natsu. Natsu. Uh, Natsu's got some scars yeah. that he's not ready to heal from. I think this episode is going to be the Red Riot episode of season five. I think it's going to be kind of like an offshoot. It's going to be canon, from what I understand. This is a part of the story, but it's it's going to be like a uh, we're not this villain that we're going to see is just going to be probably in this episode. Yeah. And uh, but it's going to give us an opportunity to deep dive into the character, explore a little bit more. Yeah. Well, yeah. So we're about to start, guys. So please, uh, so first of all, subscribe to us, like, share, comment, subscribe. We do talk a lot with you guys in the comments, uh, and sometimes y'all bring up a lot of good things uh, that either we missed or just discussion in general that we usually bring up by the next episode. So by all means, keep doing that. Second of all, jump into Funimation or Crunchyroll, watch it there, and then come back and actually watch us because we are not the original release. I know I know, we well, released the full length here for you guys, but uh, you know, that is not we what didn't, We it. didn't make this show. <laughs> we just watch it. To, to your disbelief. Backflip. One, two, and three. I feel like we start every episode of this season. <laughs> and that scene, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's just a recap again. You, you notice that his shirt says front and back? Not, and really? That's, yeah, Natsu's shirt says front on the front and back on the oh, back. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's always how it's written in the comic books. Uh, in the manga, you'll see that some, Deku will have like kanji or whatever, but it actually means green or something like that. And it's for his green shirts, and yeah, it's funny. And it's weird to me that Endeavor pushed Toya so hard that he thinks, well, that he it's died. Dead, he yeah. died. Um, but he's still um, giving an offering. Every now and then, I don't know. I don't know how often Japanese people do that. They, but I think it's every day. Every day. Every day they like. I think at dinner time or something they mm. usually bring like. Not too sure, but I know that's uh, Mexican Mexican families also do the same, but they mm. do it. I think it's in Cinco de Mayo or like a Dia de Muertos. Gotcha. Something gotcha. Like they also do it. <laughs> I feel like they're trying to misdirect what you think already. Yeah. Like for people that are in the same track as we are. Yeah, that don't read the manga. They're like, oh, that's probably Toya. Yeah. 
人生の幕の下ろし方だけだ。決まってんだろ。Oh, is that one of those enhancing? Mm -hmm. Damn, he's going after Natsu. Ooh, this could actually be a really good episode. You, like, wait, you didn't catch it from the last previews? What, that he was going after Natsu? Yeah, he had, had no. Natsu on his, on his strings. I didn't, I, I completely. That's why, that's why I was telling you, like, ah,、oh, this is gonna be a whole episode dedicated to the growth of this family. Hmm, okay. Oh, wow, okay. That explains a lot why Natsu can't forgive as easily.、Mm. You could read that, right? So, what?、Uh, in his mind, he believes that he killed Toya? Yeah. yeah the letters were blurry, but I could make <laughs> some of the outlines. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I like about Bakugo. It's he has his sides. Yeah. He really just makes me laugh. He's so absurd. Aw, that's really sweet. I'm making falling in love for another chick. Come on now. Dude, Deku's got, he's got choices to make. Yeah, he definitely does. He's got Melissa, Chaku, and now.、Mm -hmm. I mean, and Sue, for those people out there that、oh, yeah. definitely want to see that. Everybody wants to ship somebody with Sue, though.、Um, it's mainly Midoriya and Tokoyami that people want with Sue. Tokoyami, really? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoa, that's really messed up. It's weird that they're using something that we've seen multiple times already with like、uh, Aizawa. Oh, yeah, the strands. He's actually crying. Oh, God. This guy does not care at all.、Nah. It bothers me that I'm pretty sure that Natsu must have some sort of ability and he doesn't use it. Maybe. Oh, there goes Bakugo. Yep. <laughs> He blasted his face off. <laughs> What? <Nice. laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see these amazing transformations. I want to see some、uh, Sailor Moon thing happening. Yeah. <laughs> just like they're not even in the city anymore, they're in like some weird like, plane where they're trans <laughs> just transforming. <laughs> Oh, sh <laughs> we've never heard Todoroki get that angry. Let's see him. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be Midoriya right here, I think. Yeah,、yep. please. Oh, you know it's Midoriya. Bakugo, blow the hell up. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Boom, nice. I love it. Da ooh. Interesting way of using it. He's gonna create some sort of wind. Is he gonna use Black Whip? I really doubt it. Black Whip? Oh my gosh. I, oh, oh, he is. Come on now. Oh my g o d Hell yeah. I expected him to like carry one by the time, but like, hey, that works too. Wow. Oh, Endeavor's like, I love these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. 
this fucking. Nice. Wow. <laughs> that will be me. <laughs> yes. I love seeing Deku become the hero that he wants to be, you know? Yeah. Aww. I, I might cry this episode, Neko. I'm just gonna let you know now. <laughs> if you like it's really cool if you think about it that bakugo did not prioritize hitting nobody yeah he went to save この先お前は俺に何も言えなくなってしまうのではないかと当夜も俺が殺した元を戦だ許す時なんてこんな日は俺は翔斗みたいに優しくないからするのは冬美と霊のためだろう家族に強い憧れを持っている。お前も優しいんだ。俺を許さなくていい。許してほしいんじゃない。償うってあったり何ができるんだよ。考えてることがある。だいぶ減りましたが。he paint he control white lines that were painted okay that's his quirk yeah that's the so like how you call it weird <laughs> damn it i thought we were about to figure out we have to wait for best genius god damn it he's dead oh nice i do like that he he's holding on to telling him oh god Oh, that was a good episode. That was short in my eyes. Yeah, it did, but it was it was it felt short because I think of how good it was. <sighs> well, you didn't like that episode. That was such a good episode. It was good. I, I think liked that might it. have been the best episode. Of it's the just season. That I, like I feel like not much happened within it. Like the fights were. The, I did like the fight. I don't know. I don't know. You were you were here out here fucking. Laying your life out, defending the Ochako and Sue episode. That's what I'm saying. Is that like after defending that one, I'm like, all of them just feel like that one, you know? What? But we actually got story here. Like Natsu, Natsu's finally, hopefully, learning to to move on a little bit. I mean, it. I do. I do like what uh, Endeavor said. He's like, I don't want you to forgive me. It's like, I, I just, I just know I fucked up, so I want to make up to y'all, yeah. even if you know that day never comes. Yeah. Allow me to do better. Um, we got, we got a lot of good moments. We're finally getting to see Endeavor's training, uh, training the the three boys. We're we're finally seeing them come into their own. Deku just whipped out Black Whip like. Like nothing, yeah. yeah. I was kind of surprised. I was hoping that he fixed a like focus more on the air force, but he kind of did as well. Let's see the ending. This is why it felt short because we have a, I think, a little bit more. Oh, 
I do like that because uh, this house already has all those memories. A new house will fix a lot of the issues. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Alright, so going back to the whole part of uh, Endeavor saying, you know, I don't want you to forgive me, I just want to atone. Uh, I do, I do remember at one point in watching Haikyuu, which it's probably one of the last episodes that I uploaded back in, I don't know when, it feels like last year, but it was four, three, four months ago. There was a particular moment where a character was trying to apologize to another character about something that happened in the past and the, the person was telling them not to apologize because they weren't going to take it. Um, and I am somebody that stands tall on the idea that you don't take that away from them. If somebody wants to apologize, you should allow them to apologize. But forgiving them is all up to you. But you don't yeah. get to take away the ability of somebody else apologizing because apologizing means that you realize you made a mistake. And by you taking away that, then you're not allowing them to come out clear and saying that I know that I made a mistake. So that is not up to you to decide. So hence why over here, I did, I did like that. And there was like, I'm not asking for forgiveness. I just want to make up. And that's it. I want to make up for the lost time. I want to make up for all the wrong things. And if that means making a whole new house without me in it, so be it. Uh, so I really did like. I mean, I, I did. I mean, the, the viewers saw it. I, I teared up. I fucking I like one. Did I had, you really? Yeah, I had one <laughs> one streak going all the way down my cheeks. So I, the episode was a good episode. It's just it feels like. It, 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 again, it, it was self-contained. It was it was a, an endeavor thing, uh, like a total rookie. Uh, episode again uh, I don't know I just I, I feel like I'm missing the hype out of the other episode that we've seen in the past so and I and Loki I think this is gonna be like you and Mikey said where it's not gonna lead up to anything because the moment that the next part starts there's no stopping so clearly they're they're holding it for season six and that's the only part that I'm like because we, uh, this is episode 18, I believe. So we have like six or seven episodes left. Mm -hmm. um, and there's nothing that's going to start that's going to get resolved. No. Yeah. So we're going to see some good stuff, but it's not going to be anything major for the rest of the season, which is, uh, I get it. Like, I, I get why even an episode as good as this one can feel disappointing is because there is an overall story happening and we're not exploring it we haven't been exploring it for weeks now yeah actually and that's something that not just me and mike have talked about it's something that a lot of people are talking about online in, yeah in the comments is what we're seeing yeah that's pretty what... much it's not just nico g like <laughs> we... <laughs> yeah people are very confused at why they switch the arcs um i do and this is what i think they're doing and I like it because it works for the setup and it is, I honestly think they're just going into the later chapters and they're just pick and choosing, picking and choosing like little story bits that comes in a, in a matter of flashback, mm. but instead of showing it as a flashback in the future, they're just going to like, okay, let's just pull, put it all here as a full on story. That way people already know about this background coming into the fight. Uh, and if anything, they're just going to like flash to this particular moment for three seconds and then go back to the fight again that's what i think they're doing which is fine uh i think i think the burnout comes from the fact that we're waiting on a week by week basis and it's not we're watching it on a single go it's it's definitely both because i enjoyed i remember i watched week to week the overhaul arc and i was just like begging for saturday to come because i had to know what happened next you know yeah, what i mean yeah but then but then the gentle criminal arc came well, that's and you because did it. it's not as exciting you know <laughs> and then you stop watching it <laughs> yeah it's because it's not as exciting like if we weren't if we weren't reacting to this i don't know if i'd be watching it week to week is is basically the point yeah um and it has to do with just how the show is being paced right now 
if I'm watching a show week to week, that means I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, I, I will. I will definitely wait like a couple of weeks and then sit down. It's like, oh, I've had three episodes mm -hmm. to watch, and then okay, all three episodes were cool. Uh, again, we're loving it, and that, that's not, it's not taken away from it. It's just again the idea that there's a bigger plot happening, and we have not seen it. Yeah, I mean, like take season three, which there was the overarching plot of part one of season three was what was actually going on if that makes sense mm -hmm. so the villains okay how do i put this so let's say that season three was just coming out now and it was it was like it was about oh in season three we're gonna see bakugo get kidnapped by the league of villains we're gonna see all might face all for one and then season three just ends up being them going on like a field trip somewhere and nothing. And they keep talking about stuff that's going to happen, and but then, it doesn't happen. Yeah, and then the thing that happens ends up in a single episode or something. Like, okay, yeah, that was yeah, not. It's like, yeah. And uh, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it must suck not being able to read because you're trying to abstain from it. Yeah, I've, I've really been wanting to read. It's It's been tough. <laughs> I mean, me personally, I don't like to read, so that's not a problem here. No. Uh, I, I, was, I was talking with uh, Megan last night, and she's super into My Hero as well. Oh, sweet. And I was asking her, what's your favorite fight in the show? And she goes, oh, it hasn't happened yet in the anime. And I was like, Son ah, don't do this to me. Like, oh, my God. Uh, see, that's and this is why I de uh, unfriend people that read manga well i like those little teases you know that it's eventually going to come but like I just put them in the, my blog list <laughs> guys that was fun honestly it's fun i'm not not that i'm not belittling it's pretty good i like it uh i'm pretty sure that some of you share our same ideas or same complaints i guess you can say but ultimately what are you looking forward for the next upcoming episodes because we saw we saw warp gate we saw um, person Mike and uh, Aisawa so let us know what young, you think young versions yeah. yeah and the young versions I really I really hope they do bring uh, like a like a UA uh, high school time so mm -hmm. that would be cool uh, again more filler but it would be cool or flashbacks or may maybe it's not maybe it's not filler but it's it's not the hype that we're looking for but it's still pretty cool I'm not gonna complain mm -hmm. too much who knows maybe maybe next episode <laughs> uh, we'll see a flashback that Aizawa was a villain all along, and that'll start the My Hero or My Villain Academia Snape. arc. And yeah, I don't know. I, like, I'm I'm just gonna keep not not expect super crazy things, but I'm not going also going to diminish what's to come. I'm I'm just gonna take it at face value. Like anything could happen in the next episode, and I'm excited about it. Alrighty. Well, if that's the case, guys, like, comment, subscribe, just cry. Share. Yeah, cry and sus. Cry and cry and be sus. Uh, and but I, I don't know. It's the Weeps Closet, guys. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you, guys, for joining us on another Weeps Closet reaction. If you liked the video, please hit that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. See you in the next one.